Hey everybody, this podcast is proudly sponsored by CardsReviewRelease.com. CardsReviewRelease.com has been supporting the game since Opus 1. Use promo code CHOCOBROS to save 10% off your next order. Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of the CHOCOBROS. I'm your host, Sam Snipe Prime. I'm Zach Bro. And I'm Cody Snodgrass. And today we are joined by a special guest, Zaim. Zaim, how are you doing? I'm well, thank you. How about you all? Thank you for You're having well. me today. So usually Zaim uh, on the Facebook goes by his uh, handle, Muhammad Zaim Ahmad, but he actually goes by his middle name, much like I do. Um, so if you hear me always referring to Zaim oftentimes on the podcast, this is the man who happens to also be the first winner of the Octagon, the U.S. Octagon Open. How does it feel, man? Uh, it's really, really amazing. Uh, it's you know, the tournament, I did really well and went 6-1, and one, played Curtis in uh, round 7, and even that was a really close game. Uh, and then, uh, you know, it was like, okay, so what am I going to run? Uh, my bracket, Colin, Angel, and Hunter. And I'm like, all right, so two of these people are going to be running water as well. I almost never lose the mirror, so we're going with water. And uh, that seemed to work out for me. Yes, what a what a boring decision on your part. <laughs> oh yeah, no, I mean, nobody, nobody nobody would have expected me to run water. It's so so left field for me. Right, I yeah. <laughs> Just no. coming from the most and the most recent uh, CC win was also mono water. It's water's been doing pretty decently, I hear. Uh, so that's awesome. That was amazing. Your guys' finals match was extremely close. Um, <laughs> much, much closer than it should have been based off uh, my initial thoughts on the matchup. Um, so there were a few things that kept him doing well. You guys, the, He played very well. You played very well. Um, triple Veritas is... <laughs> yeah, it just kind of sucks. Uh, game one, I had three Veritas in my hand. I think turn three. Been there. And then the Sephiroth started dropping, and then my cloud started disappearing from Sephiroth, and Veritas started disappearing. I'm like, okay, this is going to be... This is just going to be a grindy game and see if I can get him to, to the late game and Swing with little guys, but in the yeah. end, that game just. So real quick, be, real quick before we get started with the cast, I do want to shout out um, to all the LQs happening this weekend. I know that Cody's somewhat close to one, semi close, uh, uh, six yeah. hours. I mean, that's that's I consider that close. We are close <laughs> to one. It's about a seven hour drive, um, and oh, I don't think we're going to be attending it, unfortunately. Uh, uh, James is coming to town, and so we're going to hang out with him instead. Um, but that being said, there's also uh, Portland's happening this weekend. It seems like it came out of nowhere. I don't know. And then also the whole week, it seemed like it took forever to get here, right? Um, <laughs> yeah. So I think we're, we're going to discuss some. Uh, Cody, you want to lead us in discussion of uh, what our predictions are? Uh, yeah, so I guess first off, we'll start off with uh, what decks you guys would expect to see if you were attending. Uh, Muhammad, I'm not, or Zaim, I'm not sure if you're actually attending the Crystal I'm Cup. Not, or not not okay. okay, okay, okay. Doesn't matter. Uh, I don't want her. <laughs> <laughs> no, why uh, would anybody run that? There's a lot of basic pitches, all right? I was kidding. <laughs> no. Uh, so uh, I guess I'll start with Zach. Zach, what are like... Yeah, uh, say, is like number one, like public okay. enemy right now, I think. Uh, I don't necessarily think it's the like de facto best deck but i definitely think it's a highly consistent maybe best deck in the format it's very good uh I, i'm sure some earth wind varieties uh they come and go with like different variations of you know more dark cards less dark cards sometimes phoenix and you're on j sometimes more straight like other lists have phoenix now some have all of it um model lightning is always gonna have a presence also there are people who just really enjoy playing that archetype and it's pretty good right now i've been enjoying it actually i've been strangely playing that a little bit recently um, and then I probably expect some just randomness. I mean, there's a lot of play or a lot of like random stuff to play around with um, lately. So I, I can see like Warriors of Darkness, while they have proven themselves, are still kind of a little bit fringe right now. Uh, things like that I can see. Um, Scions, of course, staple. So I think a lot of the staples that you would expect, and then things you can't even predict. Not a whole lot in between. Okay, uh, Zayn, what are your expectations? Well, certainly not mono water. I don't think there'd be any reason to run that now. But um, yeah, we're going to definitely be seeing water for sure. I think we're going to, well, I mean, we just saw Earth win, uh, win a tournament in Europe. And uh, so I do, I don't expect any less of that as well. Um, Ice Earth, I think it had the most showing in Tampa as well. I believe there's like five or six of uh, players who had that. So I do expect we'll see that as well. Um, and then mono wind for sure also. It's, just, it's about consistency. So I do expect those four and then of course random things i mean we're not gonna see death machine probably but 
<laughs> but uh, yeah, probably some random things that uh, you just have to be ready for about any, pretty much anything. Okay. Uh, Sam, what about you? What are your thoughts on it? I think that the deck that you'll see the most of is like numbers wise is somewhere between mono water and um, probably mono lightning. That being said, I think the best deck and the deck you'll see to the what the, the best, like the deck that will put most people in day two is somewhere between water wind because it preys on the mono water decks. Um, and then earth wind, um, not because it's any good against water, but particularly because it has just a lot of tools to beat the random decks. And if you look at like typical tournaments, like there's a lot of home field advantage. Um, a lot of times, like you're going to put in a good percentage of the home field and it's a top cut, preferably. Um, they're they're better rested. They're they know the venue. They're comfortable. That type of thing. Um, they know where to get a good day breakfast or a good breakfast and a good night's dinner. Um, <laughs> but that being said, if you look at the Epic Gaming streams, like they have some very unique decks, uh, very cool decks. Um, but I expect that those types of decks that I've been seeing on stream to be handled very easily by um, by Earth Wind. So I, my two guesses is that Earth Earth Wind will do really well and Water Wind will do extremely well. Okay, interesting. Uh, good to hear your guys' takes. Uh, I'm gonna go a little bit out of left field. I'm gonna say Fire Water. Uh, I noticed it had quite a bit of success in Europe over this. Or yeah, it was in Europe over mm -hmm. this past weekend. So. I think that might be able to catch some people off guard uh, just with the early aggro and Zidane drawing cards and all that stuff. Um, so m moving on with more predictions, uh, who do you guys expect to see in the top four? Uh, top four. Sam. Yeah, Sam, okay. I'll go back to you to start with this one. Top four. Who do Man. we know is – well, let's start with who do we know that's going that's a name that is recognizable to, like, the masses? Like, I don't even know if it's about that, but <laughs> – I know like, for sure. I don't know people. <laughs> I could I could tell you that I expect Brian to win. If I was to put a first place, Brian will win. Brian, put a last name to it. Uh, Meta Potion, Brian. Brian Berkeley, man. I, I figured. So I'm, just, that. You know, I'm just making uh, sure. I try to think if there's another Brian. When people just say Brian, well, I mean, there's lots of Brian's. Judge Brian. You know, <laughs> you put you put names to like, you know. But yeah, um, I expect, uh, I'll just say Berkeley. We expect Berkeley to win. Um, I expect Okimoto to not be happy with his most recent finish. Yeah. Um, and so I think he has something to prove to himself and thus will probably do well. I, I see, the problem is, is that I see, um, I, I just, when I look at their two, two decks, they play two very similar decks. Um, Usually, I like Brian's like very tech choices more. So if they get paired against each other, that's the reason I'm putting Brian as the winner. So if they have to go against each other, but who knows? Who knows? Anything could happen. So I could see Brian being in top, Okimoto being in top. Um, I really think that one of the Seattle locals, possibly even two of the Seattle locals, will, will round out the top four. And I know that seems strange um, because there's a lot of people, but those that player base plays a lot and uh puts a lot into it and when i say seattle i mean not not just seattle but portland i mean the whole the north the northwestern corner of the united states i expect a, a, at least two of them to make top cut okay uh zaim out of the players that you know that are going uh who do you expect to see in top four yeah no this is so i pretty much was going to say also I, was, I would i wouldn't be surprised to see oki and um brian make it into the top cut as well um i don't actually know who else is confirmed for going but yeah, from I know I believe that those two are going, and they're pretty consistent. So it's not it, it wouldn't surprise me or anyone if either of the two of them win that event. Okay. And uh, Zach, what about you? Same. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I I don't know the whole roster, but if I had to go based on what I do know about the region, I would definitely. I mean, my money would normally be on uh, those two. The same reasons, like consistency. We know they grind. We know they test a lot. They're a strong uh, duo, and like, you know, the whole team is strong. So, I would expect the same. I don't know enough okay. locals to make a prediction. Like I, like if you gave me a name, they'd be like, oh yeah, I think that person is strong enough to make top four. But I, I just don't know who actually lives in that area. But I do agree okay. that locals are do have at least a couple percentage points in their favor uh, due to all the non-tournament factors that go along with tournaments. Okay, that's fair enough. Uh, my predictions for that, uh, I'll definitely agree that the Meta Potion boys, Brian, Matt, 
and Matthew Rice. I think they'll all get in there. And top four, I think this is Matthew Rice's year. Uh, <laughs> and I hope he gets in just because we got to see Greg Cole get in at the Fire Crystal Cup. So it'd be nice to see somebody who's been there. Would, there lot. would be some justice. Yeah, yeah. Because he definitely he definitely deserves to go on on many reasons alone, Mary alone. So there would be some uh, justice to see him do well. I don't yeah, typically I'm... like the decks he he brings. Uh -huh. That's yeah, I can <laughs> I can agree. With that. <laughs> but I think if I and he but he's an excellent player and puts his heart into it. If if he if he just like plays a very good deck, like if he were to play like Earth Wind for example, I think he would just tear the field up. But yeah, and then for the last or for the fourth spot, I would say probably one of the Kansas guys that are going. So probably like Lopez or maybe even Kyle oh, Peters are they all again. Going? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah Kyle Lopez yeah. and Jake Lee, I believe, are the three that are going. So, yeah, I would know. I, would, I, I wonder. I wonder if they'll still solid. Yeah, I wonder if they'll still play the Earth Wind deck that they played before with some updates. Um, I don't think that that deck is consistent enough. It, it's ironically to put them in there, uh, but those are all really good players. So I wouldn't be surprised at putting them up there too. I forgot that they're going. Um, yeah, and to be fair, I, I'm not sure on like the whole field of players that's going. So. Right, yeah, that's that's. It might sound like I'm a little biased because those are like some of my best friends in the game, but. <laughs> right. I think Kyle but. Peters is just a very consistent player. He's, if not one of the most consistent players, like I don't think I've ever seen him not top an event, and he always like he comes from a very competitive that's, Magic that's background. Tr that's true. Yeah, actually. I, I can't think of an event where he hasn't top aided or like made whatever like the higher end of the top cut is. And. Is Lopez not the same? Did he not? Because I, think... I mean. The Petit Cup, the Crystal Cup, the Na Nationals obviously did very well. Um, I feel yeah, like he's also up I guess there. It, so. I guess it depends, yeah, where you make that cutoff. But... Yeah, I wouldn't fault you for rounding them out in the top four. And, but yeah. Like, yeah, he's just, just... He, he comes from a very competitive Magic background. He knows how to grind tournaments. He knows how to work it. And I don't think he ever really gets in his head too much. Um, I would definitely put him up there then if I know he's going. Yeah, it's, it's going to be an interesting weekend for sure. Okay, so uh, the next topic we'll go into is uh, what would you guys consider playing yourselves if you were attending this event, or mm. possibly one of the LQs? No, okay, uh, wait, no, we got to rephrase the question for Sam. What's okay. the second, third, fourth? What are the other decks <laughs> that you might consider playing that you're not going to talk <laughs> because you're not going to talk about yourselves? Uh, the, <laughs> the second most deck I would consider is Earth uh, Lightning uh, Lulu deck. Um, That's interesting. Okay. I think it's very good. I haven't lost a locals event with it at all, so it's very good. Um, I don't know how it'd stack up against Earth Wind. That'd be my scariest matchup. Um, Depends if they're playing a chair or not, right? Or does it still not matter? Not really. Lulu is, Lulu is so like already winning the game. Like I don't even know. You don't even, like. I think I'm playing actually two Lulus in my deck, oh, okay. not three. Like it's like yeah, but. That'd be, it wouldn't be my first choice, but it would be my second choice, and it would be a strong choice. And then, uh, outside of that, I would play a different Lightning Earth deck, <laughs> <laughs> like uh, the fo focused around um, the FFL characters. That's I like those cards. I think those are very good, and really fun. And yeah, <laughs> other than that, I would just be jam trying to jam powerful cards like Fina and Dark Fina. Like those those cards seem very good right now. And now, I, I, this probably goes without saying, you'd be playing three Veritas? I would be playing three Veritas, yeah. In <laughs> okay. whatever deck. In whatever <laughs> deck you're playing. And if You're going to play a Warrior yeah. of Light deck with three Veritas? Like, like, I'll just say this. Actually, I, I would just put it on the line. I will bet you money. Any Anyone that wants to take this deal, that if Brian or Kyle either didn't play Water, Earth, that they will win this weekend if they pay water earth yep interesting yep i don't know i, if, mean, I, I don't know if they're if they've been testing a berry or they have it it's not like i have any sort of inside scoop i have no idea but if either of them are playing some sort of monster variant i think that they will win this weekend that's just my opinion yeah interesting <laughs> all right uh Zayn, what would you uh be considering playing at this event um Probably wind water if I was going to the event this weekend. Honestly, uh, I just, I, first of all, you know, burst, 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 and burst. It's always fun. <laughs> uh, I did really, I mean, wind water is another deck that I had a lot of uh, 
I did really well with when I went to the Petit Cup in Tampa uh, in Orlando, where I made it to top four as well. And that was a hard, that was a, that was a pretty hard event as well. So and I, and with Fina just makes it better. Like it was already a good deck. Fina just makes it better. So I, I'm I I don't think I think it, it can do really well at pretty much any event right now. Um, otherwise, Mono Water or Ice Earth, either the three that I keep rotating between of what I would want to run. Okay. Interesting. Uh, Zach, what about you? Uh, I would be between uh, one of three decks probably would be Earthwind is probably my number one pick right now just because I want to go back to get a little bit of consistency and kind of my, my roots. <laughs> and uh, although I don't know if I could handle playing like JFB's deck because like, he's only playing 15 backups and I don't so, know about that life. But <laughs> Only JFB can run JFB decks, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 and then uh, Mono Lightning would be a consideration because it's actually kind of fun. Um, it's not as kind of quote unquote big brainy as like maybe an Earth Wind deck, but I I like sometimes just getting people with a good EX burst or Illua that they can't handle for some reason and Alba's a nut card. Um, there's a lot of reasons I think that Mono Lightning is pretty strong and I, I enjoy it. Plus the Sid Previa, I, I love that backup <laughs> and the lines of that, but it's not my strongest deck uh, but then ice earth would be the other uh in the in my top three choices um, just i think it's a very solid choice i mean uh sometimes sephiroth just destroys games so interesting yeah he does <laughs> yeah uh obviously if it was up to me i would be playing mono ice most likely uh with probably two to three veritas in it um and if not that i'd probably go with mono wind just because i like the mono water matchup uh just because you can go for the mill game uh, and Valifor, obviously. So, but yeah, those would be my two picks. Hmm. But yeah. So um. Now, uh, I, I was gonna say, uh, so what? I guess going back to the Octagon tournament, we want to talk a little bit more about that. Mm -hmm. Um, what were? Did we see any decks throughout the streams? Not just your matches, I mean, but like all the matches. Interesting decks to maybe try or uh, look into or anything like that. Because I know some of the rounds were, you know, pretty kind of quick, or like my mine was, you know, pretty one sided. But um, are there any interesting decks we saw that you would consider? Uh, yeah, yeah. You played Curtis on, and he was on Ice Earth, correct? He was on. I think it was Mono Ice. No, he was on Anti Zack. Yeah, it was literally Anti Zack. <laughs> <laughs> it was like it was. It had like Garland and. Uh, no. Remedy and all those cards, yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I might consider that. I actually talked to Curtis a little bit after I watched that match after it was played back on YouTube, but um, maybe that one I would consider. And why would you consider it? Uh, just because I haven't really used Garland much. Um, I think it's a good card. It's just tough to find room in without having to like build around him playing cards like Ysail or something like that. Um, but I think it's a very good card, so I'd like to use it more. Now, what was uh, Alejandro's deck? So I found, I see the list here. Is water, water Ice, ice. Mr. Mr. Cool's uh, deck list from Japan. Yeah, okay. Water Ice, but a lot of standard units. Okay, so okay, so he's going for like Gladiator, we have Bron. Oh, he has Conjurers, okay. Oh, yeah, so and he has Kuja. Time Mage, and he has uh, another character that can dull and freeze. And But I think that's the only dull and freeze. Yeah, so Snow was the one that scared me the most. <laughs> uh, if, if that shows up, then I'm gonna have a little bit of pro problem. But game two and three, I managed to hit into the damage zone just like I planned. So oh, just... <laughs> it, it does shock me that that a deck that would consider snow would only run one. But... Yes, I have. I tried that initially with uh, I think it was JFB's old deck, and they had like one snow or something, and I immediately upped it to two. Uh, yeah, so I, I I spoke to him as well, and I think that's one of the things that he is gonna adjust is he he he's gonna add a second snow, which I I agree with completely. Yeah, because once you guys submitted your list for top eight, there were no changes allowed, right? So, like, you no. had to play that exact 50 through the entire top cut. Yeah, okay. That would, that would be unfortunate to, like, realize after the first round. Maybe you win it, but you're like, man, I wish this was one different card, and you're just stuck <laughs> knowing that every game. Uh, so, Zaim, was there any other decks that you played throughout the Swiss rounds, or was it all mono water? Uh, I, I don't... You played win. Oh no, me! I ran a different deck almost every round, but until oh. like the final, until the last round or second last round, I ran the same deck I ran for the tournament. 
um, last round against Curtis, I ran mono wind with uh, like six ar- essentially six archers, <laughs> and uh, that was I mean that was pretty fun. Uh, I think it ended up six seven, and it was, it was a good game. So that was I, I that's why I say I, mono wind has a lot of consistency, and mono decks have that right. There's gonna be the the nice thing about mono elements is there's a the consistency factor. So I, I and I think that can be really nice, and that's why I enjoyed mono water or that's why I ran mono water. The way I ran it um, was about the consistency. So, uh, where I had so usually you have three walkers, three unas. I actually we were running uh, two each in my build, and why that helped me is when I played. I knew I was going to play against Mono Water uh, first round because that's what he's been running, Angel, mm-hmm. and then and then Colin always runs Mono Water also. So if he beats Hunter, I'll be playing against Mono Water again. So. If I'm playing in a mirror, it's going to be about how consistent, who's going to have the more consistent deck, and that's going to essentially win. And that's that's how it played out uh, when I played both of them. It was just I was able to get things backups out more consistently. I was a bit able to play my forwards more consistently, uh, less dead draws, and that's how does won. how does mono how does like two Yuna be more consistent than three Yuna? Like I, I get that like you won't once you have because I draw Are enough, you... I'm going to see it. Once I have it on the field, all it is is CP. And yeah, I want to be able to get, <laughs> yeah. And I want to be able to get other characters. And also, I'm only running uh, three Fanfords, three Chews. Uh, oh, okay. I so see. I'm not gonna, I'm not dying if I don't get Yuna. Like if you okay. look at um, game two and three, I don't think I used Yuna. I think I discarded. At least I know game three, I discarded them for CP to play other backups, and it didn't, it didn't really affect me at all in in either of the games. I was actually discarding Fanford against them anyways, because Fanford isn't really doing a lot for me in those games. You know, I'm just gonna be hitting Vikings anyways. It's interesting, yeah. I just noticed you're all three of us on your forward line too. You have 27 forwards, nine different names. <laughs> so that's yeah, consistent that, right there. Frankfurt actually just seem a lot weaker right now, given that uh, the Metatoss has sta- or there's Meta. I said Metatoss, but Veritas. <laughs> that is a Freudian That's, that's slur. relevant that too, right? That's it is Metatoss. Metatoss. Uh, the Meta game has so much Veritas, but it also is full of stuff for counters to Veritas, like Layla Viking. I've even seen Earth Windex that are playing Moogle the four drop that draws a card both ways um so i think that actually just kind of makes veritas infinitely not veritas but uh fanfrit fanfrit infinitely worse than it used to be so maybe that's a good example of why lula's or yuna's a little bit worse than it was prior now what was the uh logic behind choo lane instead or kucha lane instead of uh the new leviathan uh once like again, so mid game and early game uh, the new Leviathan was doing nothing. Like, if I burst it, uh, it's almost not doing anything. If I draw it early, it's also not doing anything. Whereas, at least with Chu, if it is bursted, for example, you'll be able to draw. Um, and again, it comes down to that consistency. Just, you know, you're c- constantly going through your deck, getting into your power plays, and then you're getting to your Kag Nicole combos. Do you uh, think there is an argument for it? leviathan being more consistent because it's based on your decisions and not your opponents so like if your opponent only has one or two things dull you're not going to get as much of a reduction versus if you have what is it is it per water character or is it water back it's per work ca- it yeah. is per water character so but, on uh, average i think those are going to be a lot higher reductions than kucha lane if when you get further yes in the late game it can uh in late game absolutely i know leviathan draw uh, can be a uh, like you can just clear straight up a uh, forward on its own mm-hmm. but uh, because I- i'm more concerned with my water water is usually when it gets to the end game it doesn't have much of a problem anyways like Sorry. that's the biggest goal for water is can i get to the end game and just push for damage early and mid game is usually where the water player has a little bit more struggle and that's why if you see uh, when aggro decks show up it's a lot more difficult for water because you you're taking a lot more hits early and you need to start playing things in a way that water doesn't really like to in general. So that's that's one and Chu Chu actually does kinda of help also against the aggros. Because it allows you to get back. If you do hit it, you're good drawing. It, it keeps you kinda of in the game when you're up against the aggros early on. But that's why that's why I liked it. It ended up working well for me. And uh, what I ended up doing was I took out the three Leviathans for the three Porums. Oh, uh, that's... Yeah. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> it's not quite a so, lateral change, but it's, it's, so, uh, it's a change. So wait, was Porum not in before? No. 
Uh, I wasn't originally using Forms. I was using. I was trying out the Leviathans uh, originally, but uh, like when I was getting it early, or if I was hitting it early, I was like, okay, that didn't do anything. Interesting. Now, okay. Sam, uh, are you having any thoughts about that? I, I noticed you were kind of like back and forth. I, I could see gears. No, I just yeah, I'm not a fan of the current builds of Mono Water, so <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> to me it's just such a boring deck and i have nothing against people that play it it's not no like slide at all it's oh, just uh oh it is oh it is i mean i'm not gonna pretend sit here that uh, pretend that playing a two-hour match yesterday with water or playing mirror is gonna be an, a very exciting match but from it, it, it won me the event so I'm, I'm not gonna complain either <laughs> <laughs> but would you win uh so there's so, like at, at what cost that's what i'm asking what uh, for my soul, I want, I want, I want like, 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 I want you to think about your job, okay? And then how much money you make per hour, and then how many hours you spent making playing Mono Water this, week. and then ask yourself at what cost? <laughs> Time, <Yeah>. friends, <laughs> respect, brains, brain cells, respect. <laughs> yeah, man. No, it, is, I don't know. It, is, it is what it is, man. <laughs> I mean, we were saying the same thing when people were running Turbo Ice. I mean, nobody, nobody liked it. Nobody was, nobody was uh, uh, thinking, "Oh man, great, 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 skillful matches." But you can't compare this to Turbo Ice. This deck is not nearly <laughs> as good as Turbo Ice. See, this no, deck, no, it, it's good. good. It's good. But oh, if you were playing good, Turbo though. Ice, you were just doing it wrong, right? Like That's people great. that weren't playing Turbo Ice were people like me who just wanted to fight the system and paid for it you know <laughs> like you should have just been running to rice i think mono water is a good deck but um i don't think it's the best deck so interesting if, if you if you <laughs> wanted to win this tournament and there's nothing you did win the tournament but if you wanted to win the tournament from the get-go i i think you one made a pretty good decision um two really if the if you want to win the tournament you probably would have played earth water or, or wind water you uh you have a great you have a great deal of experience on wind water. You knew there was gonna be a lot of water, so you're very so, favored that matchup. There's also a bit of a difference when you're so in octagon tournaments you fix your deck you choose your deck at once you know who the top eight is, right. right? Whereas normal tournaments you don't have that luxury, so that does also affect your decision. Well, that's that's actually why I'm thinking you would have played wind water, right? Once you saw it, the top it, cut, it seems like a really good choice. Uh, so. I, I was feeling water. Like, I just, I yeah. felt like... I know I'm, not, oh, I'm not faulting you. I'm not faulting you. I'm just saying that, like, like you I had know. options. You chose this. I, I don't this. feel I don't feel bad for you, <laughs> but I also don't particularly feel good for you. <laughs> you <know? laughs> no, what did like, you win? Did you win a box? So let's say I was on the other side of the bracket, right? Where yeah. I, I... So, right, let's say, like, uh, Curtis and I switched, right? Curtis was in the bottom. I won my match, sure. so I was in first. I probably would have gone to win water instead. Okay, that's fair. I, but I, I, I feel very confident when it comes to playing the mirror that if I run water and mirror, I'm probably going to win. You feel more I, confident in the mirror than you do in the win water water yeah. matchup. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I feel I, I feel really I, I when I have to play against water, I don't usually have. I, I guess that's throw. fair because like I don't feel confident in any matchup that you're playing ping cards where they're playing Minwoo, so... Because you just... <laughs> you, you, you just forget that Minwoo even exists. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a funny flashback to our Petite Cup RVA where he, he did, like, yeah. he did like six actions uh. and then just stared at me, and he's like, saw all your stuff dead or what? <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, that was... Nah, cool. man. Nah, man. Min is that Wu. what you said? <laughs> no, yeah, no, no, he yeah. literally said that. But he quite literally played like four cards. Like he yeah. was doing like the whole I, big I, combo. I, I planned this entire combo, and then I played Vala four, and nothing happened. I'm like, shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was like me. That's, that's, at, that's the thing. At locals, doing all these calculations, and Min Wu blah, 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 did a turn. Passed. Came back to me the following turn. New plan. Forgot Min Wu. Just went, <laughs> just went, boom, 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 you know, attack. I'm like, all right, sweet. All right, he blocked the way I wanted to. I'm like, attack. He's like, block. I'm like, attack. He goes, block. I'm like, you guys stay. He's like, no, mid I'm like, oh, my God. So I just, like, lost my board. And, like, yeah, it was. I think that match between you and you and I were on the bubble, right? So I think that yeah. 
pretty much put you in at that point. Yeah. Uh, I needed to win my last matchup too, but yeah, it it it, it put it it certainly knocked you out. Like yeah. whoever lost there was out. Yeah. And whoever won needed to win another match. Yeah. So. Yeah. So I was super sad about it, but I wasn't sad when you did the combo. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this is like the fourth time someone forgot to read Minmoo against me today. <laughs> but anyway, do we have any other this. topics? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I mean, that covers so. everything that I want to talk about. There's a whole lot of water, right? Water Crystal Cup, water deck winning Octagon Open. Water you get yeah. to play at LQs. Oh, <laughs> I caught that. That was really bad. <laughs> <laughs> that was horrible. Did you write that <laughs> one out? It was fantastic. No, I literally that, that was no. Pretty what good. Are you gonna play? It? <laughs> <That's pretty> All right. <laughs> good, good enough to get this man to repeat it. Jeez. That's good. <laughs> uh, <laughs> All right. What? Well, I think that uh, might wrap us up for today, guys. Uh, Zayim, thanks for joining us. Um, thank you so much for having me. It was really nice to see you all again, and absolutely. hopefully see you guys in person because there's a bit of a distance gap, but yeah, a little bit. A little bit. <laughs> yeah, ask, ask Cody about that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and best of luck on any event you guys are going to be attending soon. Yeah, hopefully I can. Hopefully you guys will make the trip over to Kansas this weekend. So we'll see you there, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Total sarcasm. No, totally. I was actually just looking for flights to Kansas this weekend. <laughs> Toronto, on the other hand, I've already got the flight. So. Oh, okay. All right. Well, guys, uh, thanks for watching the cast. Uh, we've been the Choker Bros. I'm Cody Snodgrass. I'm Sam Snipe Prime. And I'm Zach Burrell, and we'll see you next time. Take care. Hey, everybody. Thanks for taking the time to listen to the Chuckle Bros Podcast. Be sure to drop us a like and comment on our Facebook page, or subscribe and comment on the YouTube page. If you have any comments and suggestions, especially about Cody's awesome hair, feel free to drop us a DM. And, of course, don't forget to check out CardiVillies.com and use promo code Chuckle Bros to get 10% off your next order.